get those hands up and pray Isn't it beautiful out here? Good night. And once again, praise God, it's the the temperature is absolutely perfect. It's just hard to believe it could be this magnificent. But praise God. Get those hands up. Get those hands up and pray them. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> but what an incredible day yesterday one I'm never gonna forget August 25th 2023 and I know it should just be a normal day but the passport evidently arrived in Texas I got an email from Virgil, my Methodist friend, and he goes, passport's here. Well, I've got everything set up to where I get a notification whenever the, it, the status of anything changes with it. But, and it's just, it's one of those things, <coughs> you know, because uh, right, and I've said this, so many times before but right when I get a little disheartened um, and um, it just it reminds me of Taylor and Judson and the rest of them they had to wait six years seven years in some cases <coughs> before their first uh, baptism and I don't know how much frustration they had or anything like that, but it's 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 just like God will just do something right at the point um, when you're becoming despondent or wondering if this is really going to happen or not. So, but anyway, I was so very happy, excited that the passport is finally here, and I can honestly say that. That is the absolute highlight of my day yesterday and probably my entire time up here because one, I came for the weather, two, waiting on the passport. <coughs> so everything's dovetailing into my trip coming up on my birthday the 13th, which is what, 18 days from now? Uh, so a couple of things to do. I've got to uh, <coughs> find a place, which is not going to be that difficult, I don't think, for Virgil to to FedEx the passport, and then two to make some really concrete strategies uh, for uh, what my agenda itinerary should be in Washington D.C. Uh, and what it involves in going to the Bangladesh um, embassy. <coughs> and also, uh, going back and forth with the emails with Frontier, and Jamie with Frontier Missions is very, uh, uh, very persuasive, very uh, nice guy. Um, some of the contacts that I've had here, some of the leads that I've had here did not pan out. And I, I'm, I don't know for sure, but I think it has a lot to do with me insisting that I'm not interested in anything if I have to deal with free will, free willers. And my thoughts on that is free, the only reason a person is a free willer is the same reason that peoples are say King James only is and when I, the reason I make that parallel 
That's King James only, as I know for a fact, have not studied scripture because if any problems that they had with the new versions, the new translations could easily be understood if they did their homework, which means be, immerse yourself in textual criticism. Uh, so in the same way, the free willers, if they immerse themselves in the uh, reformed theology, <coughs> at least, at the very least, even if they didn't quote unquote interpret it the same way, they could accurately they could accurately espouse or talk about what the true nature of the reformed beliefs are. And I shouldn't say beliefs, I just should say understanding. <coughs> but it's it, it, it to me it's just the the reason that we have so much confusion, so many sects um, so many cults is that nobody wants to do their homework. Nobody wants to do take the time to research what they need to research. And like Jonathan Edwards, Jonathan Edwards, more than anybody that I'm aware of, was very, very aware of the uh, the presence of Satan and his uh, Satan and his minions and Edwards more than anybody has convinced me that he is active and busy and so I it's one of those things that we're not really is not really inculcated into our <coughs> everyday thought patterns but you know with God willing and I'm sure when I get overseas God willing uh, that will become incredibly evident of his activity over there. Um, but I'm not there yet, and that's one thing I pray for. Another thing I'm praying for is I downloaded a book. I was just kind of, I don't know, remotely interested in learning the Greek language. But after reading this one book that I'm in right now, I'm very much... Uh, not committed, but very much interested in um, in beginning that journey. I mean, this guy knows Piper. He knows some of the Reformed teachers, and he's quoting from them. And these are a lot of quotes I haven't didn't even know. But the point of those quotes is that it enriches your ability to see deeper into what God is saying the reason you, he, because God for whatever reason spoke through the Koine Greek language 22,000 years ago <coughs> and the benefits would take a little bit longer than I want to spend here uh, to uh, elaborate but uh, suffice it to say that I would love to be held to some some level of accountability um, in the pursuit of learning Greek or at least Koine Greek and I need to come up with a plan for that so a lot of things went on yesterday uh, very uh, good day in the spirit and I just I was so thankful to God yesterday. I was just praising the triune God uh, constantly. And it was, it was just a wonderful, wonderful day. But get those hands up and praise them all.